What's up guys, it's Alex, and today I have a special guest with me. Introduce yourself, man. Yo, what up? My name is Alex, also, but I go as Riddler247. 247? Really? Yeah, 247, like, I don't know when my brother... Actually, my brother made up my gamer tag, so I don't know why he thought 24-7. Oh, I see. I see. Alright, anyway, guys, uh, this is another Moab gameplay, using a stupid ACR. I know, I know. But it's it's the best. Shut up. I know you love it too. But actually, uh, my first Moab on the underground is ACR. Yeah, yeah. But Riddler, tell them your first Moab on underground. All right. Well, my first Moab, actually, my first Moab in the game was with an actual an MLG. Let me tell you which one it was real quick. I believe it was with the MG36. It currently had attachments. It had a grip and silencer. And I was actually really scared at like around that 15, I didn't know what to do. I was like freaking out. I was all telling Panda here, hey, help me out. It was freaking scary, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I, I just can't I can't believe you got it, man. Like that that blew my that blew my mind. Like I was having so much trouble with the like my tryhard MP7 class trying to get a mob. I got like three specialist bonuses and then all of a sudden I see on the top left corner Riddler's name getting a fucking Moab with an LMG laughing his ass off in my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that, oh. Well, that was a good game. I mean, what would you recommend for, you know, for an LMG for the viewers out there, man? Like, what would you recommend is the best attachment, best perk setup? What would you use if you had, you know, a choice right now? Right now, I would stick with the MG36. Even though it's the second one to unlock right now with that light machine gun. I just believe it's pretty good at long range and also close range. Um, with attachments right now, I would do grip. And if you like putting two attachments uh, like I do myself, I would go with grip and silencer. Um, also with that, that thing has almost no recoil, especially when you're going prone. So your targets are really gonna actually be dead real quick. Alright, what about the perks, dude? Perks? Uh, with that, since the uh, light machine gun is really heavy, you really can't run that much. So I go with extreme positioning. Uh, for the second one, you can either go with uh, either quick draw or assassin pro. I prefer assassin pro due to all the UAVs and stuff. Yeah, you assassin and, freak. <laughs> yeah. And the last one, since with the light machine gun, as I said, you can't really move that much. I would also put stalker, but with stalker pro. So you can go ahead and relay the, you know, the play and all that, and actually move faster while you're aiming down the side, which is actually really helpful. Indeed. Dude, Stalker Pro is still my favorite third perk. I don't care what people say. City aim, whatever, Sibrep, I'm a Stalker player. Uh, I don't know, dude. I gotta go with Dead Silence. Oh, that. of course you do. Anyway, uh, <laughs> well, you're a Search and Destroy player mainly, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. But, uh... What was I going to talk about? So that's, yeah, I mean, did you, were you using Specialist during that Moab of yours? Like, uh, yeah, I think I was. To be honest, I don't really remember, uh, which three, uh, perks I used with the Specialist. But I believe my first one was actually, I actually had Hard, Hardline on. So really? my first kill streak, yeah, so my first kill streak was actually Assassin. Uh, my second kill streak was actually Blind Eye. And my third kill streak I believe was flash shield so I wouldn't die from a grenade which always pisses me off and so yeah from there I just kept on going and got my first bomb I was gonna say nuke <laughs> <laughs> oh dear god I hope the nuke never comes back in the future to call it a game like ending the game just sucked oh, oh, anyway yeah. guys uh, I believe this is where I pick up the Moab and this map of underground yeah there it is and I, of course I have to die Whenever you pick up a Moab, you have to die, right? <laughs> um, anyway, guys, um, so there's the Moab, but unfortunately, I did lose this game by two points. I was actually with Drummer. Uh, I'll li leave a link to his channel as well as Riddler's, guys, but, uh, yeah, Drummer w oh, no, wait, was it Drummer? Oh, man, I totally forget who was with me. It was one of our, one of the guys I usually play with. Um, anyway, guys, uh. Riddler, any last advices on about the map underground for people, you know, to get a Moab or something? I would stick by the stairs, you know, going up through the little entrances at the trains. That's where I got my dude. That's exactly what this video is showing, guys. I usually stay in the middle area and kind of weave in and out, kind of get the flank on my enemy. Uh, anyway, guys, this is, I left this little last bit part in because, uh, I was going for a double Moab, but I 
I I fail so miserably. But anyway, um, video's wrapping up. Uh, I'll leave a link to Riddler's channel. Hopefully, you'll start posting soon, right, buddy? Yep, that's hopefully. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, I can get you started on that, guys. Uh, I forget the final score. I think it's like 67 to nine. Yeah, I died 20 times, I believe, in this one. So, peace out, guys. And Riddler, right. say peace. Later, guys. Hey guys, if you want to see some more dual comms like this, hit me up a message. And maybe you might get to be in one of them too. That would be awesome guys, so take care. Hope you like this. I'm out.